Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Otter Vortex Pro Lodge Ice Hut. Brand new this season, picked it up at Cabela's. I'm going to open it up inside and then we're going to go outside and set it up. Let's check it out. Okay, so right off the hop, a very portable seeming. Uh, it weighs 48 pounds compared to the one I was using last year, which was a double hub. That weighed 33 pounds, but this one actually has thermal material. So you can tell it's got good quality compression straps here. It's got this Velcroed strap handle. Uh, zippers and pulls appear to be heavy duty. So again, the first thing I notice is how thick the material of the hut is, especially considering what I was using previously. So I'm really excited to see how this thing all pulls out. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to try and film this. As you can see, I've taken the hut out of the bag. I've got a separate case, Velcro, and that similar material that the bag's made out of to house the pegs. Okay, looks like we've got, these are the inserts for the overhead storage. This is the weatherproof license holder. Uh, we've got the instructions here. And looks like some reinforcement poles, possibly for the doorway. One thing I really like, just noticing the carrying case, it's very heavy duty. There's like, I don't know if it's vinyl, but there's a, a sewn in vinyl hard plastic bottom so i really like that feature so really easy to handle uh, it's kind of wet and raining out here not ideal conditions but we'll make it work looks like a tension strap here so you just release that and everything kind of comes out pretty straightforward Okay, so first impressions for me is that it's really big. It's a lot bigger inside uh, than I was thinking. I'm six foot two, and I don't know if you can tell, but I've got a lot of room in here. And again, sorry if the lighting's not great, but I can easily, I know there's that netting that I'll put on shortly for storage, but tons of space to stand up, walk around in here. Um, you saw how easy it was for me to Lift that up. We've got reinforced Velcro vents. We've got one here. We've got one on the other side here as well. So those are nice. Okay, you have your lower window, which has Velcro on it so you can prop it open. The reason why these ones are lower is in theory, you're sitting there fishing. You can keep an eye on your tip ups. So they're at great eye level, you're not straining to look. Okay, so then you've got your standard higher window. So this comes down here. Uh, one thing I did notice is that it does sort of impede with this doorway here, but it's not the end of the world. Maybe you can go like that. That's probably exactly why you do that. Oh, they thought of everything. Wow. Okay, so never mind. it doesn't impede with your doorway. You could just throw it like that. So there's two of these lower windows. We have another one on that side and there's two of the higher windows so you've got one there and we've got another one here and again this one similarly oh i guess they both go like that okay very cool um so i guess this one can actually go up too cool very neat like that it really tucks things away 
Uh, what was neat, and I actually didn't realize this, is that there is a side door here. So these are the older style doors, uh, which I honestly hate trying to get through that walkway down here when you have a floating suit on and baffin boots on and you're trying to catch a tip up, that's a recipe for disaster. So nice to have an option. It doesn't take up any extra room. Why I bought this shack was really this door here to be able to have a completely open area you can run through if you need to, you don't have to think. But more importantly, it's for bringing in all kinds of gear with you. You don't have to worry. You could shovel out a nice walkway. Uh, you could slide your, your sled in here if you needed to. Absolutely killer to have a doorway like this. So I'm probably backlit like crazy and you can see all of my cabling there that's temporary for that security camera up there. However, this is the reason I bought this shack. This is the competitive edge that this hut had over the others. I was actually looking at the Otter Vortex Lodge, but I went with the Pro because of this, hands down. Um, so it was a little bit heavier, more fishable space. You get an extra 10 feet when you upgrade to the Pro Lodge versus the, the Lodge, but you also get this doorway and that's key to me. So as in most Otter huts that I've seen, this is my first time owning one, but I know a lot of them have this. They have this stowaway pocket, which is really easy. Great way to keep things off the ground, keep them dry. You know, you could throw your cell phone in there some extra batteries, a sandwich, whatever. Uh, and you've got the four rod holders. So really great to keep your gear off the ground. You're not getting everything wet and icy. And you've got two of those. You have another one identical over here. So if you're fishing with two people, you can keep your gear out of each other's way. Really convenient that way. Uh, I've also been noticing a lot of these extra support ties. I haven't tied these up, but I will when I'm out fishing, but it just goes to show like extra reinforcement for those windier days. And there's two of the external propane ports. So you would run your hose through here and there's a Velcro flap outside that you could run to your propane tank to keep the weather out. And there's another one over here. So super convenient that way. Pretty straightforward. Uh, these just clip on to the little hoops that are sewn into the shack. And then I believe this is how it goes up here. You just clip one end to here, one end to here, and away you go. So there's one there, and I've got a second one that will go right up there. I'll do that after. And again, you're not gonna put like anything crazy heavy in there, but you'll definitely be able to tuck your sweater away, you know, maybe some reading material or whatever you have that you want easy access to, or more importantly, you don't want it to get wet. Really cool. This is high quality stuff. Uh, this should last a long time. Ye years and years of very, you know, rough fishing, which is how I go. You saw me spring it up, no problem, uh, in a couple of seconds. It was less than a minute to get this thing up. Okay, let's do a walk around, around the outside now. Uh, I'll close this up so you see that Velcro there. Again, very heavy duty zippers. I'm filming this with one hand and doing that with the other. So you've got the Velcro there. You've got the individual pockets for the wind tie down straps. Metal, solid metal, really high end, really high quality. Got the windows, reinforced corners. I don't think I'm missing anything. Looking good so far. So another Velcro here. Pretty easy, straightforward. There you go. What I was saying earlier was, this is what I find difficult. These doors that don't go all the way to the bottom because when you've got your, your gear on, you're fumbling, getting your boots over and your gear over, or if you're running to get a tip up, this is just a recipe for disaster in my opinion especially when you have sharp things like augers and scissors and, you know, holes nearby. Close that up. Again, you got these flaps that really work to protect the zippers from ice, which I think is just brilliant. I believe that's probably for the 
um, beacon and flag set you can get so you can purchase an additional or some of them come with it an additional flag and beacon for uh, evening or early morning fishing so you're more visible it's got a light that comes on automatically and flashes like an led light very high-end strapping system so not only does the skirt protect you from getting wind and weather into the hut but then you could really tighten it up further with this strap here but all in all all things considered i'm really happy with this i'm excited to use it going back to some of the stuff that it came with so in some provinces or states you need to display your license that's not the case where i live in ontario otherwise you would need to put it in here and just pin it to your shack out there uh, so not interested in that and then this I'm curious about. I believe this is some reinforcement system for the door, in my understanding. So, we shall find out how that works. So it looks like there's two components here. Okay, so I believe I'm right because I see these orange guides here and these poles are orange, so I can only imagine that somehow this goes up there and then there and the same here or not. Oh yeah, okay. Yep, yeah. right up there and then in there okay okay and i guess this goes like that and then this straps in there so i'm guessing that just provides some rigidity to the doorway I mean, it did feel very stable without it, but I guess it just provides an additional layer. Really have to feel that out when I'm out ice fishing to see. Okay, I'm actually gonna throw this in my garage. I'm not gonna put it back in the case. I let it dry out a little bit, but as you can see, it's nothing to put away and to carry around. You've got your peg set and it's full of your pegs. So pretty straightforward, lightweight. I'm guessing some sort of aluminum and they've got a rubber cap on them. So what more do you need? It's very important that you peg your tent coming from somebody who's not ashamed to say he's learned the hard way. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, don't forget to check out my other video. Jesus, okay. Where that happened. And I definitely won't be doing that again. Make sure you subscribe. I have a ton of ice fishing videos and there's gonna be a lot more content coming this year. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.